welcome to another episode of A Drummer's Guide 2. Um, today I want to talk about an interesting subject, I guess. Uh, well, I think it is, and it's about the fear of judgment. And I think we all have this. Um, I certainly do and have done a lot more in the past, less so now, which is really nice, but I'll tell you why I have that. And it, it's not necessarily just because I don't care anymore, because I do care, of course we care. We care about what our peers think, our friends think, um, you know, it, it's, it's difficult, especially in this world with so much like social media and stuff like that. People have ex access to you. Um, 24 7 and 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 sometimes that can make you feel very vulnerable I know that I can feel very vulnerable at times but I'll, I'll just run you through my process uh, to get over that basically um, but I just wanted to talk about sort of like in the past and how you know that fear of judgment has really affected me um, in the past and and that's when I've been like um, in bands or um, especially in like jam situations are the worst because <laughs> you're already in a vulnerable situation you're about to get up and play something that you have no idea what you're about to play generally speaking and you've just got a kind of basket but then if you've got a room full of people that you want to impress or or you might have a history with that in the past have made you feel sort of slightly uh, like unconfident I'm not even sure that's a word but yeah you know just make you feel like bad for whatever reason and it might be nothing to do with them it might be to do with you and your headspace at the time and whatever else um and just yeah I mean we've all been there I certainly have I was thinking about this subject and honestly I can I have like handfuls of experiences where I can pinpoint feeling like oh my god first of all before I'd even hit a drum I was like Oh my god i'm going to be awful now that is the worst headspace to start any sort of like musical situation or any situation really and unfortunately what would happen would be i would sit down i would start playing in this sort of timid and shy way and and, and not confident at all um and it would just sort of compound and i just would become this shell of myself and and it was yeah so, like i say there's so many times that I can think of that and weirdly so I used to play with a band years ago years and years and years ago and I used to feel like that playing with them and I never got out of it I never it like it just was one of those situations the second that I sat down to play with them I felt inadequate I felt awful I felt like the worst player ever and even recently I got a chance to play with <laughs> the musicians from that band and I still went a little bit back to this headspace of just being like oh, I'm not very good this was like over 10 years ago I used to play with it I mean it's just ridiculous anyway these things happen and and you kind of have to be kind to yourself you kind of have to just go it's okay I recognize what's happening let me just be confident about this I can play and you kind of well I sort of have gotten over it I guess um but there's a very specific way that I've gotten over it because I still have these moments of feeling completely like judged and and scared what people are gonna think um even down to doing this vid these videos to be honest and and I do a lot of um drumming videos on Instagram where you know I a lot of the time I'm like oh god other drummers are just gonna be like she is awful why is she putting stuff out there she's the worst drummer ever you know all these things enter my mind don't think that i'm sitting there going i'm so great i'm i'm not trust me but here's how i sort of get around myself because it is just myself i get like i get such amazing amazingly positive feedback and therefore there's not a lot of um evidence to show that people hate what I'm doing or you know just think I'm an idiot or what they may well but they haven't told me so that's fine ignorance is bliss um <laughs> so the way that I get around it or I have done over the past few years is let's say for instance doing these videos I feel quite vulnerable doing these videos I've covered a few topics topics that I certainly have felt really like oh my gosh I'm putting this out there this could be a disaster um but then like I, so specifically these videos the thing that I have to ask myself is why am I doing this okay why am I doing this I want to help people like my younger self especially so if there's like obviously I'm helping a few drummers I think um musicians just generally which is amazing and I can't tell you how that feels but in my head I have this 11 year old 
that is starting out playing an instrument doesn't know where to look is feeling different things and 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 doesn't know if they're normal to feel these things or to to be doing these things or is a bit lost as to what to do um and for me that is the reason that i'm doing these videos and you know i may have other drummers maybe even drummers that i'm friends with that i'm close to i don't know who may watch these and go you're an idiot but you know what that's okay, these videos aren't for you. They're, they're, they're for, like I say, my, a younger version of myself um, and, and what I, I feel like I needed when I was younger. Um, so anyway, that's the reason I do these videos and that's the reason I will continue to do these because that the answer to that question of why am I doing this is so much bigger than being judged. I'm like, judge away, I don't care. As long as I help just one person, I'm happy. So, awesome. Moving on to things like uh, drumming videos, like performance videos, again, you know, music, you get vulnerable and I feel super vulnerable when I put out um, videos of me playing. Um, you know, you're literally just releasing it to the world and going, ah! <laughs> um, but again, I do this thing where I reframe it. Um, it's basically, the, it's just looking at it from a different angle. So, okay, there might be people sitting there going, she's rubbish, she's awful, worst drum I've ever heard and fair dues. I've never said that I'm the best drummer in the world. I just, I do what I love. I love it. What can I say? So to me, either I think, okay, that's fine. If someone watches my videos and thinks those things, those negative things and thinks I could do better, rah, 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 I could do that. Great. Go do it. So to me, that's actually a positive thing. If that forces someone to take the next step into being like, if she's a professional, I could be a professional. Awesome! If that gives you the confidence to go do it, please go do it. I don't mind if it's coming from a negative initial place, but if it gives you that extra push to think, I could do that. And, you know, I used to feel like that. When I used to go and see gigs, like this is when I was a lot younger and, and I had a lot less experience, so I would just see a drummer for face value. Um, I would think, I could do that. I would never be like, oh, they're rubbish. But I'd be like, I could definitely do that. But it spurred me on to get to the point that I am now. And like I say, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'm like, I could do that. And then I couldn't. <laughs> but it's all part of the learning, isn't it? So um, yeah, even in a negative situation where someone's going, I could do that. I'm much better than her. Cool. Go do it. Go work your butt off. And, and, and come see me on the circuit. Come tell me that you're better than me. That's fine. I'm not here to be the best. I'm just here to be me. Um, <laughs> and then equally, obviously, I do have amazing positive reactions to drumming videos where people are very supportive. And if that inspires someone to kind of go, yeah, cool, I want to do that too. That's amazing. The only thing that I'm slightly worried about is if people go, I could never be that good because that breaks my heart because that's, you can. Trust me, when I tell you that if I, some random girl from North London can be a professional musician, you can do it too. It's, it's just a matter of belief and, and, and working hard and just having goals and, and, and just being obsessed, basically. <laughs> Probably slightly unhealthily obsessed. Um, having the perseverance, the grit, um, just, you know, getting momentum with what you're doing, um, consistency, it's all these things. And basically just having, I keep saying this, I've been saying it a lot recently, but I really like it. Like it's an um, insatiable, insatiable, I'm not sure that's the right word, insatiable hunger. Like you cannot, okay, unqu unquenchable thirst. That's probably better because I definitely know that's the right words. Unquenchable, unqu <laughs> unquenchable thirst for music, for drums, a passion that just you cannot go, get rid of, an obsession that you are constantly thinking about music, about drums, if you're playing drums or whatever instrument it is, and, and just, and there is no option. It's not about, oh, well, if, it's more when. It's just, it's, you have to believe it's gonna happen. And I've always had that. It's even in my darkest moments where I'm like, I don't think I can do this. It's like, 
don't be ridiculous because what else are you going to do? This is the only thing that I have just adored and loved from the bottom of my heart forever um, since the day that I started. So there's just no question about if. It never has. It's just more about when and how. How am I going to do this? So anyway, that is basically my very short version <laughs> of how I get past judging. judgment. I really look, I just look at things from different angles and, and just try and put things into a positive light so that even if I'm getting negative comments, which I do occasionally, I definitely do, it's the internet, it's going to happen, um, I can um, just reframe it and, and, and just go, do you know what? <laughs> The other thing is you have to recognise that when people are saying negative things to you, it's probably more about them than it is about you. And and it's kind of this, it's an insecurity. And, and I think if you can look at it like that and just go, okay, this person's feeling a bit insecure about whatever, you might not know what it is and that's fine. But if you can come back with some sort of kindness and, and you know, don't don't be angry at them or, or aggressive or anything like that. If you can just go, cool, if you think you can do better, show me, do it. I'm here. I want to see you succeed. I want to see everyone succeed. Everyone should be happy. Life's too short not to just, you know, do what you want to do, as long as you're not hurting anyone. <laughs> um, then, yeah, just, just go do it. If you think you can do it, if you see someone else talking about something or playing or whatever and you think, I could do that better, go do it. It's going to take some work, <laughs> I can tell you that now, but it will be worth it. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop going on and on about this. But uh, yeah, try not to feel judged, reframe it and, and just, just see it as a positive thing for that person, for yourself. And always remember why you're putting things out there, why you're doing things. Um, and I hope this helps. Anyway, I'll be back next week with another random rambling topic. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will speak to you soon. All right, lots of love. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>